Hi, I'm Mrs Lomas. I'm one of three teachers that will be taking you uh, through your time at Crompton House to study government and politics. Politics is really exciting at the moment. There are all sorts of different current events that you might have been interested in over the last few years. From climate change to Black Lives Matter, from Brexit to the presidency of Donald Trump, politics is something that you can get really enthused by and engaged in, even if you have different opinions to other people. We like to bring those opinions to class and to share them um, as our different viewpoints and as part of the course. Um, it gives us a chance to study real life topics and to involve them in, in the discussions and the essays that you write. So as well as debate and discussion, you'll also develop analysis and explanation skills in the essays that you produce. Um, employers really value those sorts of uh, skills because you're doing really detailed analysis, you're bringing in examples from the current events that you've been studying into those essays. You'll be able to use key terminology confidently, so for example knowing the difference between government and parliament. And again this sort of um, key terminology is something that employers really value. The course is split into three different components. The first is UK politics, where you look at topics such as pressure groups, voting behaviour and political parties. So you yourself might like to think about which political party you support and is it because your parents support it or because you like the values that they hold? And if you could vote now, who would you vote for? The second part of that component, we look at core ideologies, conservatism, liberalism and socialism. The second component of the course is about UK government and here we look at the nuts and bolts of the political system, how they fit together and who really holds the power. So we look at the constitution, the prime minister, Parliament and the UK Supreme Court. The second part of that module is looking at more political ideology, but we've chosen to study feminism. You might like to think, do you consider yourself a feminist? If not, why not? Do you think feminism is relevant today in the UK or perhaps worldwide? And what does feminism mean? The last component that we look at is the US and we compare the UK and the US throughout. We look at similar topics such as Congress, the Presidency, the Supreme Court and we compare them directly to the UK looking at how they work and are there any points of similarity or difference between the UK and the US. We look at different presidents and how they've influenced the office of the Presidency um, and we particularly look at Donald Trump and we'll be looking in a lot of detail at the 2020 election. Um, we hope to go on a trip to Westminster, and this is a high point for a lot of politics students, being able to see politics in action, being able to see the House of Commons and the House of Lords, and we find politics students find that a really rewarding trip. There's lots of material on the website that you can get involved with. Our current Year 12 students have put up social media people that they like to follow, that you might like to get involved with over the summer, as well as all sorts of links to TV shows, books and news outlets that you also might like to have a look at. There are also two tasks on there, one to examine the UK political system and the second to have a look at the US political system and to get starting to have a look at how they both work. Looking forward to seeing you in September.